Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I'm talking about Harley Quinn season number one episode number six. You are a damn good cop, Jim Gordon. The episode is directed by um Cecilia Aronovich. And in this episode here we have a lot of things happening. Crazy, weird, and wacky, but things are going down. Okay, now we have Harley Quinn with her new crew. It, it just they just did another successful heist, they robbed a museum and they stole a mummy. Why? I don't know. She could, so she did. But the thing is, though, is so she, now she thinks she'll get some press. People are going to be talking about her, her caper that she got away with it, and nobody cares. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's mentioning it. And she's, and she's getting a little pissed off about this. She said, what do I got to do to get some attention around here? Because the whole, our whole main thing is to, to do the most successful heist that get the, the Legion of Doom's attention, and that way she, she could get in and she could rub it into the, her, and she could rub it into Joker's face and say, ha ha ha, look what I did. I got the Legion of Doom all by myself. I didn't need you. So suck it. So that's what she wants to do. But so far, it's not working. So she comes up with a plan to pretty much rob um, um, Bruce Wayne. She's going to rob his, rob the Wayne, Wayne Corporation because they got something secret there that, 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 that they haven't unveiled yet and she's going to try to steal it. So that way, if she can rob um, the Wayne Corp, the, the Legion of Doom has to take notice of her. And because things go sideways and things do not go right, well, it causes um, Poison Ivy and Dr. Psycho to pretty much... Um, Go on their own little mission because they got some um some internet troll guy pretty much saying that they're a couple and they don't like that so they gotta so they, so they go out there to find this guy and to pretty much um set them straight, which also leads them to find out that the whole the whole internet tr tr trucker guy is pretty much um well, Doctor Cycle's son, and that causes them to have a nice bonding moment, which is also very weird. Yeah. Then we have then you had the um. Another story going on with Commissioner Gordon, who has lost his mind, and he thinks he's best friends with Batman, and that even though they they they, they fight crime together, sort of, um, he thought he could he could open up about Batman about his personal life, about his wife, and that his wife cheating on him, and stuff like that too, and and, Bruce like, and Batman like this, no, 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 son, no, no, we're not that, we're not, we're not, we're not friends, okay, we're just about, about the work. If it's not about fighting crime, um, don't call me. And because you're using the bad signal for your own personal purposes, I'm taking it from you. And so now you're seeing Jim slowly going through the depression. But he does find a friend, a friend in an odd, weird place. Clayface hand get left behind, and he, and it becomes sentient. And so because of that, Jim Gordon becomes friends with Clayface hand. And it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life because Jim is slowly going insane. But this one little hand has given him hope. And in the process, it also forces Batman to see that... Oh, well, that comes later on, but... And, so, and then we also have King Shark, who also gets um, left behind on a mission that goes wrong. And he gets sent to prison. Pretty fast, <laughs> pretty fast. But in the process of going to prison, he becomes the boss. So I guess all things go well for him in a way. I guess I don't know. It's just weird. But it, uh, so, so but in the process of um like of Harley Quinn and Batman, since you know they both learn a lesson in here because Harley Quinn learns that on her on her road to trying to be the most successful villain, she can't leave her her crew behind. And screw them over in the process. And then Batman, even though he works, he works, he works alongside Commissioner Gore. He works with Christopher Gordon to help them fight crime. He shouldn't like um. I guess you could say. He, he shouldn't forget that they actually are still friends too, and that fighting crime is important and is and is good to help save Gotham. But at the same time, you shouldn't push people away who's trying to be there for you, who might maybe to help you out in other ways. Too so, that's that's a nice little nice little life lesson right there. And King Shark found an inner beast, so it's all good, I guess. This episode was weird. It was crazy. It was silly, but it was fun to watch. Though it was fun to watch watching our uh, um Harley Quinn pretty much learn a lesson about how to treat her crew and also go, get inside the Batcave. Yeah, uh, and also watching the, the bond relationship between Dr. Psycho and his son, even though it was insane and kind of weird and strange, but it was also very sweet at the same time, too. And funny. 
And this box is Commissioner Gordon, who's been, who was voiced by uh, Christopher Manoli, and as he as he just slowly loses his mind, and then and then how this and all his um, it, 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 it's interesting. He has been Batman. It's just it's just hilarious to me. Every time he's on the on the screen, it's just funny. Every time you see Commissioner Gordon, anything he says is just hilarious. <laughs> so overall, it was a funny episode. I, I did enjoy it a whole lot. It's just watching these crazy, wacky characters live their lives and trying and learning more about themselves and stuff like that too, and exploring things, which is funny. I, I I enjoyed it a lot. These characters are just so weird. <laughs> like I never know where he's gonna go at the time, but when when he does finally get there, it, it was a nice journey to go on. So. Leave comments down, down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Harley Quinn. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hope when you watch it, you will like it and enjoy it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say in my dream in life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.